Hi, it's Colin Coward. I started the volume to bring you some of the most authentic voices in sports. While you're here, make sure you hit subscribe. Thanks. I'm with Clutch. So I've been at, I've I've had the opportunity to watch Rich work. I've had the opportunity uh, with, Maverick's my big brother. Like I've had the opportunity to watch him work and be around him. Randy, you look at those guys and and how people think because they're like because them and LeBron all came up together that people think just because they came up with LeBron that Rich Paul is who he is because he came in with LeBron. That Maverick yeah. Carter is who he is. That Randy is who he is because. And the reality is LeBron gave a platform, but you have to take advantage of that platform. Mm -hmm. In turn, what people end up doing is they end up using LeBron against you. Like, oh, well, uh, he, he only can do that because he got LeBron James. And now you yeah. have to prove to people your worth times two on mm -hmm. what you already have done because people using LeBron James against you. I feel like people has used Steph against you. Do you feel some of that in this league or where you've had to like overproduce and overshow what you were capable of due to Steph being who he is? Oh, absolutely. I said a lot, a lot early on, if I was, if my name was Joe Smith, I would have been in the league uh, a long time ago. But um, I think, <laughs> like, like you said, sometimes those, those connections and, and who you are can get you in the door. But um, it comes a time when you got to produce every day, you got to bring value. Or they're gonna get you out of there. So, um, mm -hmm. like I said, you gotta have you gotta have some stuff substance with who you are. Use actually those connections are great, and and being around those people, obviously learning from Steph, being able to ask some questions, just following his journey, and is gives me a, a huge leg up, a benefit because I got a guy who's who's been through a lot of the grinds, and I can, like I said, I can pick his brain, and I can more importantly just watch what he does and and add it to myself. But um, I gotta mold that to who I am, and I gotta. And I got to bring value to the team or to whatever I'm doing myself. So um, it's, it's some pros and cons to, to like you said, to being a, the younger brother of Steph and the, and the son of Dale. Absolutely. Um, I mean, yeah, I, I, I can see that. And, and, but speaking of that, obviously the world knows that you're married to Cali. Um, mm -hmm. Y'all are the parents of two beautiful children, which obviously makes Doc, yeah, stepfather. Yeah. I mean, stepfather. <laughs> Father-in-law. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Father-in-law. Did you have any problems separating the two? Like, especially going into the trade. Like, did that bother you that you was being traded away from a team that, that Doc was coaching? Or was it just like, nah, that's a part of the business for you? Nah, it's a, it's a part of the business, man. Um, I know he's not pulling the trigger or whatever. He's he's in the room or whatever. He's going to give his input, but he's not pulling the trigger. Um, but... The whole time I was there, it was smooth sailing. I mean, we we went in the gym. It was business as usual. He was we had a job to do. Um, yeah, my, I mean, I, Callie didn't want to get traded. She didn't want to have to deal with it uh, playing with playing for her father again. Obviously, she dealt with it for a long time with her brother. Um, that screwed mm -hmm. and all the all the stress that went along with that. So um, it, was, it was a different situation, but it was it was smooth sailing. Doc, uh, great coach, had a great time playing for him, but. When it was time to move on, it's, it's, it's a business, I understand it. And you go somewhere else and you do your job there.